dear students in my last video i explained the derivation of radial and transverse velocities i think you remember what is radial velocity and transverse velocity how to define radial velocity radial velocity means the component of velocity along the radius vector is called radial velocity and component of velocity perpendicular to the radius vector at the point p is called transverse velocity say for example suppose this is the path of the particle what do you mean by path of the particle if we join the position of the particle at different points of time interval then we will get a smooth curve that is called path of the particle suppose o be the fixed point that is called uh, pole and uh, p q r the position of the particles at time interval t and t plus delta t t plus delta t we take uh, coordinates of p as r delta and q as <coughs> r plus delta theta plus delta theta are the coordinates of q here the important thing is component of acceleration and uh, acceleration along radius vector perpendicular to the radius vector they are called radial and transverse accelerations what is radial acceleration therefore radial acceleration means the component of acceleration along the radius vector so this is the radius vector at p and what is the radius vector at q this is the radius vector so op is r oq is r plus delta r. and uh, suppose this is the fixed line that is called initial line and uh, <coughs> by definition of coordinates if you take p as r theta what is this theta and q as r plus delta r theta plus delta theta means angle made by oq with this initial line is theta plus delta theta so this angle is delta theta it is delta theta now <coughs> along op the uh, acceleration component of acceleration along op is called radial acceleration and perpendicular to op that is radius vector at the point p is called transverse acceleration now we derive the expression for this radial acceleration and transverse acceleration for that so you have uh, you come came to know the definition of radial acceleration and what is acceleration what is acceleration acceleration is rate of change of velocity now <coughs> draw the perpendicular like this qm then this is p pm and qm are components of or per, qm is perpendicular now let us take u be the radial velocity u be the radial velocity what do you mean by radial velocity radial velocity means u is the component of velocity along the radius vector and u plus delta u is component velocity along the radius vector at q see to derive the radial acceleration take u is the radial velocity at p u plus delta u is radial velocity at q and v be the uh, yes v is transverse velocity transverse velocity and draw the perpendicular like this v plus delta v is transverse velocity at q try to follow this say u is radial velocity at p and u plus delta u is radial velocity at q what do you mean by radial velocity velocity component of velocity along oq that is u plus delta u and v is transverse velocity what do you mean by transverse velocity component of velocity perpendicular to the radius vector at p that we have taken as v and component of velocity perpendicular to the radius vector at q that we have taken as v plus delta v now we have to derive expression for radial acceleration first what do you mean by radial acceleration 
radial acceleration means acceleration is rate of change of velocity that is acceleration rate of change of velocity is acceleration now therefore radial acceleration is radial acceleration is it is limit delta t tends to zero the change in velocity at p that is change in velocity at p in time interval delta t because from p to q time taken is taken as delta t therefore what is the expression for radial acceleration or how to define radial acceleration it is limit delta t tends to zero total change in total change in velocity along along op in time delta t or i write radial acceleration is total change in velocity along op that is radius vector radial acceleration means total change in velocity along op in the time delta t now we define this as limit delta t tends to zero what is the change in velocity along op first we take component of velocity along op minus velocity along op final velocity along op minus initial velocity along op or i write this as u plus delta u cos delta theta because component of component of this u plus delta u along u is u plus delta u makes an angle delta theta so what is u plus delta u along u or what is component of u plus delta u along u it is u plus delta u cos delta theta plus v plus delta v that is we have to take final velocity that is velocity at q along op velocity at q along op what is that u plus delta u cos delta theta v plus delta v what is the angle made by v plus delta v with op you have to add 90 degree because it makes this uh, v plus delta v makes 90 degree with oq but oq makes an angle delta theta so what is the angle v plus delta v cos 90 plus delta theta minus u minus velocity along op minus u divided by delta t you got this u plus delta u cos delta theta v plus delta v cos 90 plus delta theta minus u upon delta t this gives the radial acceleration now we simplify this and get a expression for radial velocity in a compact form limit delta t tends to zero u plus delta u cos delta theta and what is cos 90 plus delta theta cos 90 plus is minus sin minus sin or minus v plus delta v v plus delta v sin delta theta minus u divided by delta t divided by delta t now we take the expansion of cos delta theta is infinite series sin delta theta is infinite series and we take the first approximation of cos delta theta sin delta theta what is the first approximation of cos delta theta as infinite series it is 1 and sin delta theta is delta theta so it is there right here limit delta t tends to zero u plus delta u into 1 minus v plus delta v into delta theta minus u upon delta t upon delta t because first approximation of cos delta theta is 1 sin delta theta is delta theta because what is cos delta theta 1 minus delta theta square by 2 factorial plus delta uh, theta raised to 4 by 4 factorial and so on 
consider infinite series of this cos delta theta expansion of sin delta theta is infinite series it is limit delta t tends to 0 this u cancels correct or minus u cancels delta u by delta d minus v delta theta by delta d minus delta v delta theta by delta d following these four steps first radial acceleration means it is component of acceleration along the radius vector so you have to take change in total change in velocity along the radius vector in time delta t therefore it is component of u plus delta u along u plus component of v plus delta v along u minus u divided by delta t and taking cos delta theta is 1 sin delta theta is delta t that is uh, using first approximation of cos delta theta and sin delta theta we arrived at this step now I remove this one now we have to simplify further what is this uh, delta u by delta t as delta t tends to 0 du by d minus v d theta by d minus it is 0 because see this term limiting is it is limit delta v by delta t into delta theta is there so dv by dt this limit but this tends to 0 as delta t tends to 0 delta theta also tends to 0 so it is du by dt minus v d theta by dt but what are u and v u means it is uh, we have taken u as the radial velocity at p what is radial velocity see we have already derived this expression radial velocity is it is dr by dt u is dr by dt radial velocity is dr by dt what is v v means it is transverse velocity at p what is transverse velocity r d theta by dt into d theta by dt because transverse velocity is r d theta by dt radial velocity is dr by dt I think this step is uh, clear or follow this because u is dr by dt v is r d theta by dt what is u radial velocity what is v transverse velocity now simplify this it is d 2 r by dt square minus because d by dt of dr by dt is d 2 r by dt square minus r d theta by dt whole square so this is the expression for radial acceleration so in the first topic we have the derivation for this radial velocity transverse velocity radial acceleration transverse acceleration these five mark questions these are five mark questions in the university examination you may get question like this derive the expression for radial and transverse velocities that I derived in the previous video what are the expression for radial and transverse velocities radial velocity is dr by dt transverse velocity is r d theta by dt definition also may be asked what is radial velocity transverse velocity define radial and transverse acceleration definition now radial acceleration is this d2 r by dt square minus r d theta by dt square you may get some uh, problems many problems on this so expression is important derivation is important five mark question and this formula also that is expression also you have to remember expression for radial velocity uh, acceleration is d2 r by dt square minus r d theta by dt square now i explain how the uh, expression for transverse acceleration is obtained transverse acceleration what do you mean by transverse acceleration transverse acceleration means it is a component of acceleration 
perpendicular to P perpendicular to the radius vector at the point P. Definition important it is uh, transverse acceleration means it is the component of acceleration perpendicular to the radius vector at the point P. What do you mean by acceleration? Rate of change of velocity. Rate of change of velocity means final velocity minus velocity, initial velocity. Of course, it is a per 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 perpendicular components you have to take. Final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time taken as delta t tends to zero. So, what is transverse acceleration? Transverse acceleration is it is limit delta t tends to zero. Total change in velocity. Total change in velocity at p perpendicular to the radius vector divided by delta t. Can I write this expression in this? Total change in velocity at p perpendicular to the radius vector. We got transverse velocity at acceleration divided by delta t. Now what is the total change? Limit delta t tends to zero. Change in velocity at p perpendicular component you have to take. What is the perpendicular component? U plus delta u sin delta theta. U plus delta u is velocity along the radius vector at q. But what is its component along u? U plus delta u is velocity along component of velocity along the radius vector at q. But it is u plus delta u. But what is its component along u? Because we are calculating transverse acceleration means component of acceleration along u. You have to take component of u plus delta u along u. What is that? Because it makes an angle delta uh, not along u. It is perpendicular to um, perpendicular direction at p. So here sine delta theta comes. I repeat once again. Don't get confused here. What is transverse acceleration? It is the transverse acceleration is component of acceleration perpendicular to the radius vector at p. So perpendicular component of u plus delta u at p. What is component perpendicular component of u plus delta u at p? You have to take sine delta theta because it makes angle delta theta perpendicular component is sine delta theta plus v plus delta v sin 90 plus delta theta because what is the angle made by v plus delta v with this op it makes uh, angle 90 degree with radius vector at q angle made by v plus delta v v2 oq is 90 plus this angle delta theta because the angle made by this v plus delta v, v along radius vector at p we have to take what is that delta plus theta uh, sorry 90 plus delta theta minus v minus v because what is uh, <coughs> transverse acceleration at p we have taken that as v divided by delta t and we have to simplify this and we simplify and see what is the expression final expression i think this step all of followed it is u plus delta u sin delta theta sin 90 plus delta theta minus v upon delta t so it is limit delta t tends to zero u plus delta u sin delta theta plus now what is uh, sin 90 plus delta theta elementary trigonometry sin 90 plus is cos plus cos v plus delta v cos delta theta sin 90 plus is cos minus v divided by delta t delta t therefore limit delta t tends to 0 
u plus delta u what is the first approximation of sin delta theta delta d plus v plus delta v into 1 first approximation of sin uh, cos delta theta is 1 because what is cos delta theta already explain this one cos delta theta is 1 minus delta theta square by 2 factorial plus delta theta raised to 4 by 4 factorial minus so it is infinite series cos delta theta can be expanded as infinite series like this for the first approximation cos delta theta is 1 similarly sin delta theta is delta theta minus v divided by delta t this is important why sin delta theta is taken as delta theta first approximation cos delta theta is taken as 1 we have used first approximation now simplify further so transverse acceleration further simplifying it becomes limit delta t tends to 0 u plus delta u delta theta plus delta v divided by delta d this v cancels therefore limit delta t tends to 0 u delta theta by delta d plus delta u delta theta by delta d plus delta v by delta d correct right now take the limiting case what is limit delta theta by delta d delta t tends to 0 it is d theta by dt plus this is 0 because delta u by delta d is you can take du by dt or it becomes du by dt into 0 so 0 plus dv by d now you know what are u and v what is u u means it is radial velocity u is dr by dt into d theta by dt u is dr by dt radial velocity plus what is v v is r d theta by dt because v is it is transverse velocity at p transverse velocity at p what is the expression for transverse velocity it is r d theta by dt it is therefore dr by dt d theta by dt plus differentiation of r d theta by dt you have to apply product rule it is dr by dt d theta by dt plus r d2 theta by dt square i think you followed the differentiation here That is why calculus is very important uh, branch of mathematics. We have used differentiation here, derivative. It is 2 dr by dt d theta by dt plus r d2 theta by dt square. This is actually transverse acceleration. But uh, as a formula, we simplify this further. Say I multiply and divide by r here, 1 by r, r square d2 theta by dt square plus 2r dr by dt d theta by dt. Now see this term, what is this? It is d by dt of r square d theta by dt because it is product using product rule. r square d2 theta by dt square plus d theta by dt into 2r dr by dt it is d by dt of r square d theta by dt so transverse acceleration is transverse acceleration is it is 1 upon r d by dt of r square d theta by dt so we have four formulae now you can take this as four formulae First is what is radial velocity and expression for radial velocity, what is transverse velocity and uh, what is the expression. All the four derivations are important. Question may be like this. Define radial and transverse velocities 
and derive the expression for radial and transverse velocities define radial and transverse acceleration define the radial and transverse acceleration and derive the expression for radial and transverse acceleration we have four formulae now and uh, <coughs> in the next video i consider problems on this topic problems means um these formulae four formulae plays very important role what is the first formulae radial velocity transverse velocity radial acceleration transverse acceleration what is radial velocity dr by dt what is transverse velocity r d theta by dt what is radial acceleration d to r by dt square minus what is the expression d to r by dt square minus r d theta by dt am i correct let me verify this radial acceleration is r d theta by dt square d to r by dt square r d theta by dt square transverse acceleration is 1 upon r d by dt of r square d theta by dt so we have these two derivations will be asked for as one question five mark question and these two derivations five mark question definition two marks so <coughs> these videos are uh, restricted to only the syllabus here we have given some syllabus and uh, we try to express we try to explain the topics that are covered in that syllabus i solved some problems on uh, these two four formulae that is radial transverse velocities and acceleration in my next next video and i try to follow this and if you have any difficulties you can always contact thank you